He's a tugboat and a friendly tugboat too. A friendly tugboat too. For Theodore and Emily. For a Hank and George and the harbor master too. Hello. I'm just doing some work. Oh, yes. There's always lots to do in the big harbor. Ah, that's Theodore's whistle. I'll just put my pencil here. Come see. Oh, look at that. There's no one there. Oh, oh, I know. Theodore, behind the dispatcher. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. You see, Theodore and I, we, we have this little joke. He blows his whistle and then he hides. And then I try and find him. It's kind of fun. Except, you know, one time, Theodore played a joke and well, something, something very surprising indeed happened. You know, now that's a story that I can tell you about today. Theodore was taking his good friend Barrington Barge to the oil refinery. Barrington, said Theodore, today, when I finish moving you, let's play our special joke. Okay, Theodore, said Barrington quietly. That's the nice thing about barges, thought Theodore. They're always so nice and quiet. Theodore put a little extra puff into his pull. He couldn't wait to play his favorite joke with Barrington. As soon as Barrington had unloaded his load of big, long tubes at the oil refinery dock, Theodore hurried away, pulling the barge behind him. Where shall we hide today? He called to Barrington. Oh, you decide, replied Barrington. Another nice thing about barges, thought Theodore. They always go wherever you want. It felt great to be in charge of Barrington. It made Theodore feel bigger. Theodore set off to find a good hiding place with Barrington. It was time to play their favorite joke. This looks like a pretty good place to hide, said Theodore, as he pulled Barrington along. They were getting close to Owen, the giant oil rig. Whatever you think, said Barrington. Theodore began to pull Barrington behind one of Owen's great big pillars. Owen, whispered Theodore. Don't tell anyone we're hiding here. Won't tell anyone, bellowed Owen. No siree, Bob, just watch how quiet I'll be. See, Owen is a very noisy oil rig. Theodore and Barrington waited with big, sly grins. And sure enough, along came Petra the pilot boat. Theodore and Barrington held their breath. The best part of the joke was coming right now. Petra knew that Theodore and Barrington always hid when they were finished work. It, it was their special joke. I wonder, said Petra out loud, where can Theodore and Barrington be? Petra looked this way and that way, but she didn't seem to see them. Owen, said Petra, have you seen those two? No siree, Bob, hollered Owen. Oops, oh, oh well, they, they told me to be quiet. Well, Theodore started laughing, and soon Barrington was laughing too. And Petra looked around again, and then, surprise, they yelled. Theodore rushed out, pulling Barrington behind him. There you are, said Petra. You did surprise me. Theodore and Barrington laughed and laughed all the way back to Barrington's dock. Tomorrow, said Theodore, we'll find a, a really great place to hide. Fine by me, said Barrington. So long, Barrington, said Theodore. And he headed home, still giggling a little as he went. What a great joke, he said to himself. The next morning, during the regular work meeting, the dispatcher turned to Theodore and said, Theodore, today you will be moving Barrington, as usual. Theodore's two toots said, yes, sir. Theodore set off to get Barrington, swaying back and forth a little, the way he did when he was especially happy, already thinking of where he was going to hide this time with Barrington. I bet this will be the best day I've ever had, he said to himself. Now, as soon as Barrington had unloaded his big, long tubes at the oil refinery dock, Theodore said, 
Let's hide. Okie dokie, said Barrington. This time, said Theodore, we'll find a place we've never been before. Well, they found a little secret cove just beyond the big smokestacks. This looks like just the right size for us, said Theodore. Do you think someone will find us way out here? said Barrington. Oh, don't worry, Barrington, replied Theodore in his most grown-up voice. Someone always finds us. Theodore carefully backed Barrington into the little cove and then squeezed in beside him. And the two were hidden by the rocks and trees around the cove. This is our greatest hiding place ever, said Theodore. Well, it wasn't too long before Petra came floating by, looking for Theodore and Barrington. Of course, she knew they were hiding. Theodore! Barrington! she called. Are you there? Shh! Theodore whispered to Barrington, and they both tried hard not to laugh. Theodore? Barrington! Petra called again. Where are you? Theodore, whispered Barrington. Aren't you going to pull me out now when we yell surprise? Oh, not yet, whispered Theodore. It seemed the more worried and nervous Barrington got, the more brave and excited Theodore felt. Barrington? Theodore? That's strange, she frowned. They usually don't hide this long. Ah, uh, Theodore, said Barrington. Petra's leaving. Theodore moved ahead to look. And sure enough, Petra was going away. Oh, someone else will come along, said Theodore. And then he rumbled his engine a little, like he was getting ready to rush out and yell surprise. But inside, he was beginning to wonder what would happen, too. He wanted Barrington to think he was really good at jokes. Petra went to talk with the dispatcher. They always hide on me, and I usually find them right away, Petra was saying. It's our joke. But this time, I couldn't find them anywhere. This is very strange, said the dispatcher. And then he looked around as if he were hoping Theodore and Barrington would come floating by any moment. The other tugs could see that it would soon be dark. Maybe they had an accident, said Fodak. Well, there is only one thing to do, said the dispatcher. I will have to declare them officially lost. I'll ask Constance, the Coast Guard ship, to search for them. Everyone was very quiet after the dispatcher said that. They knew that sending an important ship like Constance to look for Theodore and Barrington meant that this was now a very serious matter. Fodok, as you are the safety tug, said the dispatcher, please go with Constance and help her search. Proceed immediately. Fodok whistled his most serious whistle and set off to meet Constance. I hope Theodore and Barrington are all right, said Hank. All the other tugs were hoping the same thing. It was now almost dark. The small cove where Theodore and Barrington were hiding was full of long shadows and strange night sounds. Now, Barrington being a barge is usually nice and quiet. How long do you think we'll have to hide? said Barrington in a very quiet voice. Not long, I think, replied Theodore. Until tomorrow? asked Barrington. Maybe, answered Theodore. Theodore, said Barrington. Yes, Barrington. Is tomorrow a long time? I hope not, Barrington, said Theodore. I hope not. Both boats shivered. A cool nighttime breeze was beginning to blow. Just then, Barrington saw something. It's a light, he said. Someone is shining a light. Listen, whispered Theodore. Sure enough, someone was calling. Theodore! Barrington! That's Fodok, said Theodore excitedly. He's looking for us, said Barrington. Are you ready? whispered Theodore. I'm very ready, Theodore, said Barrington. Theodore waited until Fodok was almost past them. Surprise! They yelled. Theodore rushed out, pulling Barrington behind them. Where have you two been? An angry voice said. Theodore and Barrington looked around, and 
there was Constance, the Coast Guard ship, and she was shining her biggest searchlight right at them. Constance, said Theodore, what are you doing here? Everyone has been looking for you, said Constance. Do you know how worried we all were? We were hiding, said Barrington with a great big grin. Wasn't it a great joke, added Theodore. A joke, said Constance, as if she couldn't believe what Theodore had said. Well, it's certainly not funny. You will take this barge to his dock and report to the dispatcher immediately. And with that, Constance floated off with Fodak. Theodore pulled Barrington to his dock. I think we're in trouble, said Theodore. Why? said Barrington. I don't know, said Theodore miserably. This is the worst day I've ever had. Me too, said Barrington. After Theodore had taken Barrington home, he returned to the great ocean dock. All the other tugs were asleep, but the dispatcher was waiting up for him. Constance said you wanted to see me, sir, Theodore said in a very small voice. The dispatcher could see that Theodore was tired and upset. You'd better get some sleep now, Theodore, he said. We'll have a talk in the morning. Yes, sir, said Theodore, and he headed off to his dock. But tired as he was, Theodore couldn't sleep. Why is everyone so upset with me? I hope I can see Barrington again. Further along the harbor, Barrington couldn't sleep either. I hope I can see Theodore again, he said softly. The next morning, Theodore was thinking of what he would say to the dispatcher. He decided to practice on Donald Dock. Maybe, said Theodore, Barrington and I hid too long? Uh-huh, said Donald. Is that why everyone was upset with us, said Theodore? Uh-huh, said Donald. You see, uh-huh is all Donald ever says. It wasn't Barrington's fault, Theodore continued. I'm the one who made up the joke. Do you think the dispatcher will let Barrington and me work together again? Uh-huh, a voice said, but it wasn't Donald. Theodore slowly turned and saw that the dispatcher was looking at him. You mean, said Theodore, I can work with Barrington? Theodore, said the dispatcher, the reason we were all so upset was, well, that we didn't know you were only playing a joke. You were gone so long we all thought you were lost. I guess a joke isn't funny if it makes everyone worry, said Theodore sadly. But can I work with Barrington again? Well, maybe my good friend Donald Dock has something to say about that, said the dispatcher with a smile in his voice. Uh-huh, said Donald. A little later, Theodore was taking Barrington Barge to the oil refinery on the other shore. It sure is a great day, said Theodore. The best day ever, said Barrington. You know, Theodore and Barrington sure have a lot of fun working together. Well, speaking of work, I better get back to mine. Thanks for visiting us here in the Big Harbor. And we'll see you all again next time. Now, where did I put my pencil? Do you think someone is playing another joke on me? Oh, no. I... <laughs> yep. Looks like I kind of played a joke on myself, huh? Bye-bye. <laughs>